Well, Valentine's Day can be prime time for online dating scams. Carol Evan tracked a con artist who used dating sites and fake identities to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from women. Well, those women banded together to bring him down. And tonight, for the first time, we will hear from the scammer himself about how he pulled it off. The last time we saw Derek Aldred, he was being led away to serve 24 years in federal prison. Finally, justice, we were all heard. Justice for the women across the country who told CARE 11 they've been conned by Aldred after meeting him online. Aldred had posed as a Navy SEAL. She wore these all the time. A lawyer, a doctor, a Navy pilot, leaving a trail of broken hearts and empty bank accounts in his wake. But he's destroying lives. So now with lots of time in prison to think, what does Aldred have to say about the crimes? He's been talking to Dateline NBC correspondent Andrea Canning. What do you say to all these women who say that you destroyed their lives? I'm not trying to justify my behavior. My behavior was, I, I was a horrible boyfriend, absolutely horrible. Destroying someone's life, I think, is a bit exaggerated. A horrible boyfriend? Keep in mind, more than a dozen women testified in court, some saying Aldred ruined their businesses, destroyed their reputation, even caused them to lose their homes. Here in Minnesota, Aldred posed as a wounded war hero to Lord Linda. He left his gear at her house when he took off. The Purple Heart, Silver Star. But not before cleaning out her retirement accounts. And how much did he steal from you altogether? It's around $200,000. Is that your life savings? Everything I had. She had him arrested, but police let him go while they worked the case. CARE 11 heard similar stories from women in Hawaii, California, Nevada, Arizona, Minnesota, until finally in Texas, he made his ultimate mistake. You know, don't mess with Texas, don't mess with Dory. Trying to scam Dory while posing as a Navy pilot. This time, the feds got involved. It's all an act and he's really good at it. And I think this is the reason why he's gotten away so long. Navy investigators built their case against the phony war hero and a federal judge finally put a stop to the scam. Justice. So what about all those fake identities? How did Aldrin keep them straight? It's impossible to keep straight, particularly when, when I was running from the courts or, you know, running from the, the United States Marshals. I mean, it, it, it was uh, it, it was tough to keep track of who I was saying, you know, where I was and what I was doing and who I was, um, it's, it, it's overwhelming. Even after the judge threw the book at him, Aldred still isn't taking responsibility. Dateline NBC will be profiling this case, including its Minnesota links next month, March 6th. Julian Randy, 